welcome back to my channel. Oh, it feels so good to be back. I feel like I'm getting my groove back. I feel like I'm feeling better in my skin. And if you guys have been following along for a bit, you know that I've been going through a bit of a rut. Don't mind my pajama pants and tea. Um, but I'm still feeling better. I don't care. I have a spray tan. I feel like not today, but like hair is going better. I'm having fun experimenting with makeup, being out and about. I think that is a huge part of it. Honestly, the sunshine, getting walks in, just taking good care has been really important. And just giving myself time to reflect on how I'm feeling and like leaving space for all the feelings and just trusting that the entire world is designed in seasons. Like so many animals hibernate, plants are like tucked under in the winter and then they blossom and bloom. Like it's not reasonable to expect that we are going to be full throttle all the time, always better. Like we have seasons too. And there are seasons for contraction and seasons for expansion. And I'm just really grateful that I feel like I'm moving into a season of expansion again. And I think showing up on this channel, trying on new things and just being open and getting to have this dialogue with you guys is a huge part of that. So thank you. If you are new to my channel, I hope you stick around. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give a follow, hit the little bell, but most importantly, just make a little comment below, introduce yourself to everybody. And to me, I'd love to know you a little more. You can also shoot me a DM over on Instagram. Um, I'm on TikTok, Instagram, same username anyway. But today uh, we're doing something that I've been nervous about doing just because I've been feeling kind of out of sorts in my body, but we're just ripping the bandaid off, babes. I did a little bit of a swim try on for you guys with my Mexico unpacking and today we're going full throttle. I have some swimsuits from Aerie that I'm really excited to try on along with just some other little summer moments. Um, some of which I might've tried on in the Mexico unpacking reel, but I'm just wanted to do them all in one go because I know we've got a lot of Aerie fans out there and you guys have been asking me for more swimwear, more loungewear and specifically for Aerie. So got you today. Let's try some suits on. Okay, we are coming in hot out of the gate. I freaking love this suit. It looks so good. It's so bright and so fun. I feel like a human highlighter and I'm not mad about it. You know, it's funny. I'm like, oh, I, I'm just not feeling good in my body. I don't really want to be seen right now. And then I'm like, blam! The first suit out of the gate is like, whoa, 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 you can't miss it. Maybe that's what I need right now. You know, maybe that's the encouragement that I need. Airy has done suits very well now, in my opinion, for several years. Like they came onto my radar for suits like hard, hard, probably like 2019, 2020. And I feel like it's just been getting better every year. Uh, this top is like a size, like a bra. So it has an underwire and it has such great support. I'm wearing a 30 double D in the top and an extra large in the bottom. I'm pretty sure the bottoms come in up to a two XL. This might be the biggest size they have. They might have bigger band sizes for the bra, but I will link it below and you can check it out. They have plenty of suits that don't have underwire that probably would accommodate larger bust sizes just because they're stretchier. This one fits perfectly around my bust and it's just really cupping it's adding so much support it just looks really really good and obviously yes I have a spray tan right now which is helping this a lot but still I just feel like this bright color is so fun I think it looks so good the bottom is like a little cheeky I want to make sure this doesn't get like flagged but I want to show you the cut so it's like it's a bit of a cheeky cut which I don't mind um, because it, it has like enough coverage but I feel like it's actually such a flattering cut on the bottom and you know I don't like that word but I mean like I just think it maximizes the shape of the booty. I am obsessed with this suit. I need these bottoms in every color. Oh, oh my gosh, it's just really, really, really good. It's high-waisted, but it gives the appearance of almost like a little bit more low-waisted, which feels a little more on trend because of the V, but I still get the support in the places that I like. Personally, like area I'm least confident about is like here down. It's just like this little midsection that I've always had since I was like a child. And I know it's protecting my internal organs, etc., etc. but I just think this swimsuit makes me feel very, very confident. I know I've already shared this before, but I cannot say enough good things about this cover-up set that I've already worn the shirt multiple times, like as a separate. I know I'll be wearing these shorts with just like a white tank. It's just the best cozy summer set. They have it in so many different colors. I think it looks so elegant. I love this cream and orange together. It's just really good. I'm wearing a 2XL in the bottoms and an extra large in the top. And it's just the best set. I love it so much. Here's the little back. It's just so cute. They have it in hot pink, all these other colors. And it is just 
so cute. Wanted to show that this set comes in pink too. This color is just so fun. It is really fun to combine bright colors too. They're just very different looks, but yes. Also have in pink because obsessed. I know I already shared this in my Mexico unpacking video, but this suit is so nice. I had to share it twice. I love this. Like I said, it was like the only suit I wore in Mexico. It was just so comfortable. I just felt so free and I felt free to swim. Nothing was gonna slip out and fall. And when I wasn't feeling great in my body, I just really felt very comfortable in this suit. I love this texture. I just love it. I love it because you can kind of play with, you can kind of like tuck these up if you want, a little more of that. It's a little cheeky, but not too much. Nice little bottom, makes a great bodysuit. You get the idea. I'm wearing an extra large in this one, and I love it. The perfect black bikini doesn't exist. Wait for it. Wait for it. <coughs> Who is she? A month ago, I was just like down in the dumps, and now I'm feeling, feeling figuratively and literally myself in this black bikini. It's so good. It is so good. I'm wearing the same, I think this is the same style top as the orange suit. This is a 36 double D, that was a 38 double D. Um, this fits fine too. I just probably prefer the 38 just because I think it would give me a little more room, but I'm still gonna wear this and I still like it. It's just interesting to like see the difference. This really holds them in, passes the bounce test. This V is so sexy. I just can't get over it. This is good, extra large. 36 double D, little bit of a cheeky back. Like I said, it's like you can find hacks to feel like you're on trend without being like matronly. So like this is still high waisted and still I feel really good in it because it's got enough coverage, but it feels more on trend than something that's like a lot of coverage from here to here. Does that make sense? So I feel like you can show skin strategically and just feel like you're comfortable in your skin. You're not gonna fall out of your swimsuit. You feel sexy and it still feels relevant and modern. Do you know what I mean? I'm telling you there's a child like doing circles. Like I'd say like a preteen doing circles in my driveway and every time he comes, I'm like ducking into the other side because I'm like, I just, I need to shut the window. I'm gonna shut the window. Woo, I'm feeling sexy everybody. Okay, I'm feeling myself. Let it be marked here okay the next time i'm lamenting on a video that i'm feeling so bad like sure there's still a lot of work to be done but i think it's a big deal that i'm here trying on suits and saying like i actually like something because when we were going to mexico and i was breaking down in tears this was not the case okay this is a big deal because there's a certain pair of shorts that shall not be named that i have been wanting this style of and i have tried multiple different stores and i can never find one that works for me Something about running shorts and like my booty and my like tummy, it's just like it never works. I want it to feel like flowy and effortlessly, but with these thighs, good luck. So guess what? Aerie has them too and they come in way better sizes and they're way more stretchy. This is an extra large. I think, I really think they go up to a 2XL and I did try these on previously, but I'm gonna show you. I actually felt like they were roomy enough that I could possibly even do a large. So. There's hope for those of us who want this, this style of shorts. So you see, it just looks like that loose, effortless, cute little like workout running short. Ah, I'm really excited about this. They have a lot of different colors. I will be getting them in other colors. I'm just really excited because it has been such a battle for me to be able to find shorts that fit like this that make me feel good in them. And I, it was one of those things that I was just like giving up on. Here's the back, just like a normal rise, but it has this like soft, cozy, again, that really awesome, I need a new word other than flattering. Like, I don't like the idea of flattering being like, oh, I'm trying to minimize my body, but I think it enhances, it's like enhancing, maybe that's nice. Feel free to comment below if you've got a better alternative word, but I like the V here. I think it just like draws the eye in and it just feels like flirty and feminine while still being like sporty and cute. I'm obsessed with these shorts. Again, I'm wearing an extra large. I do have them in a large to try too because I wasn't sure which one I'd like better. Let's do it. Okay, these work too. If you want them to be a little more form fitting, they're still loose enough here, but they're just like a little bit more snatchy. So it's totally up to you. I think they run true to size or generous. So totally up to you. I still think these look really cute and I like them. It just depends on which fit you want. Like a size 16, probably would recommend the extra large, but I think the large really works too. It looks really cute and it's just like a little bit more short. So if you're going for like a little bit more that like kind of tight booty workout thing, you could size down. I shared this previously as well, but I just like it so much. I thought I'd share it again. I love this top. It's so cute. This would actually also, I think I'll probably wear this little sports bra with these shorts, which I probably should have tried on for you to give you like a better feel. Oh, how cute is this? 
I love this. I think this is very cute. I also got this top in this color. Just because I'm telling you, this is just like the top. So this is actually super cute too. It gives like denim chambre vibes, but it just looks really, really cute. I love wearing like a biker short set with some kind of a button up. I've done this many, many times on all my different channels if you have seen it. I personally prefer one that's like less structured. It just feels like a little more casual. It feels like more comfortable because like the stiff buttons ups kind of like flow over the body differently. So love this. This is so cute. I'm wearing an extra large in both of these pieces. Okay, I couldn't resist trying this together because I knew it would be so freaking cute. I feel very confident in this. Like I would totally work out in this, go for a walk, a hot girl walk around the neighborhood. I'm obsessed. I really want to get these shorts in every color. The more I wear them, I do prefer, like I think the black ones look good a little snugger, but I think these look good a little bit more loose. So I'll probably keep them both, <laughs> what do you know, and wear them both. But I just thought I would show them because this is very, very cute. And then I got this little sweater that I've just been wearing nonstop because it's so soft and comfortable. You can see the texture here. It's like the stretchiest, softest, coziest sweatshirt. Again, they have tons of colors. I just love throwing this on in like with shorts in the summer when it gets like a little cooler at night. I had a bright, bright green one that I think I just got rid of and I'm really like regretting it. It was basically the same exact thing from a couple years ago and I wore it into the ground. It was like threadbare. Now I'm with miss it, miss it. <laughs> now I wish I could have it back. I miss it because it's kind of like, it was like my comfort blanket during the pandemic and I miss her, but we have an upgraded version. It's white. I just think it's just a, like, it's just so soft for me. There are days and times, especially at the end of the day, when I'm like, want to just put on my softest thing and just like crawl up and curl up into a little ball. This is that for me, but it looks like very fresh and elevated. So I just thought this was super cute. And yeah, I'm wearing an extra large in this. And I think that's everything. Oh, I want to show you guys these sunglasses actually. Found them. They're so cute. I just love, I'm an oversized sunglass girl. I know it's like trending to have like small ones and like the like 90s like ones, the athletic -y style ones. That's just not my vibe. So I've decided that it doesn't work on my face and that's fine. So anyway, I just like these. I think they're very cute and they go with everything. And that is all. You guys, I'm feeling the summer vibes. It is feeling so good. I'm just really grateful. I'm grateful for you all for like encouraging me and being a fun place to show up and experiment and try things on and feel safe doing that. And I just hope you all have that place as well. If you wanna do it during these videos and put them on and like, do that facetime a friend yeah just hype yourself up find the people that hype you up i know it's a tough season and we're all like changing and like you know everyone's bodies goes through different seasons and some people are having kids or some people are dealing with medical stuff we're all getting older like there's a million different factors but we just need to be kind to ourselves because we cannot punish our bodies into submission but we can love them back to wholeness and wellness and i feel personally as i'm trying this every day like last night when i was at an event and i was really struggling confidence wise in my head i was literally like you are worthy like you are good you are loved like i was like literally like saying these mantras in my head over and over and i was like man i'm so hokey but honestly it is that loop in our head. It's the script that we tell ourselves in our head over and over that we believe. So if you believe you're worthy of loving what you wear, um, of taking up space exactly where you are in this point in time, like the whole world will rearrange itself to like reflect that message to you and let this be a reminder because you guys have watched me not feel great about myself and yeah. I haven't, my weight hasn't, well, I wouldn't know, I don't weigh myself, but like my body hasn't changed, my weight hasn't changed, my size hasn't changed, but my attitude's changed and everything feels a little different and tomorrow could be bad again or tomorrow could be great again. So it's just loving ourselves through the ups and downs, but that's my inspiring message for today. I'll leave you alone because you probably just came for this try on, but inevitably I gotta ramble a little or would this even be my channel? Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys found this video valuable. Uh, let me know what other things you want to see me try on and do. I'm having so much fun. I've got um, upcoming. We have so many good hauls. You guys, so many good things because I'm just trying it all. I'm buying clothes that actually fit my body and that I feel good in. And I'd encourage you to do the same. Have a clothing swap with your friends. Shop Poshmark. Go thrifting. Um, take your clothes to a tailor and see if you can repurpose them. There's so many ways that you can do it, 
but I just encourage you to do what feels good to you. And oh, if you guys have a moment, I would, I've asked to do this favor before. And so if you guys have done it, I just want to say thank you so much for everyone that's done it. I've gotten quite a few messages of people like screenshotting it and sharing it and saying they've done it. But if you guys would be so kind as to, um, at the top of this, I'm going to put a link to the Sephora squad. I would like lose it to be in the Sephora squad. And so I'm applying and um, every testimonial helps. They say the judges read them and take them very seriously. So if you would love to see me be part of the Sephora squad and do a beauty video, but a beauty video here monthly, that would be so incredibly amazing. If you would write a short testimonial about why you think I'd be good for that, I will link all of these below. And if, as always, if you guys have any questions, let me know about sizing. You can hit me up over on Instagram. I do short form content over on TikTok. Um, I'll be a little more active on Pinterest and Lemonade, all that stuff too. And again, my handle is just Alex Michael May across the board. And thank you so much for watching. If you're new here and you like this video, I'd love to have you stick around be in our little community of hype girls. And yeah, you can comment below, introduce yourself to the squad, say hi to me, like I already said, and I'm just appreciating all of you for being here. Take good care of yourselves and I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you, bye.